Hi, it's Robert Murray and welcome to this week's Leadership Minute. It's the one minute video blog where I've got uh, a minute to answer a question from leaders like you. A question that I'm getting a lot of these days is uh, how do we make my team more accountable? Uh, and it's one of those things that comes down to a leadership discipline which is not inherent in most leaders and it's something that we have to nurture. Uh, the whole idea is that making sure that your team first and foremost or maybe even an individual first and foremost understands the why or the purpose they understand uh, the what what is it that 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 you want to do so why do you want them to do it what is it you want them to do you can depending on the uh, the level of confidence or competence of your leader that you are working with um, you may want to tell them how or you may want to jointly set the how or if they're very very confident and confident in their abilities ask them how they're going to do it and here's the final part. Here's, here's the part about the accountability. Um, you, you don't have to be a dictator or an autocrat. One of the things that I always say is that's, that's great. Love, love what you're going to do. Uh, when can you do it by? So making sure that it's really, really clear in terms of the date uh, that they're going to deliver and what uh, is the measurable around that. So how do we know? Most leaders will do that part. Here's where I find that most leaders will fail in that they do not take it to the next step and either document it uh, in their calendar, and that's, that's what I do. I'll actually set a, a meeting, you know, so if it happens to be May the 30th, whatever the year it happens to be, uh, I'll go in there and I'll set a 15-minute appointment to follow up with the person who is uh, supposed to be delivering something to me or to the team. Uh, if you happen to have the luxury of having a, an executive assistant or some type of an assistant, uh, just get them to do it in terms of uh, either putting it into your calendar or uh, reminding you to follow up or in some cases just following up with that person the day before saying, you know, that, that this, this particular action item was due. It takes tremendous amount of discipline to do that and uh, I found and for most leaders, I, I just use the calendar and when that meeting pops up, it, it's a reminder for me then to, to reach out via, you know, phone email, uh, text, whatever that happens to be to, to follow up with them. One of the things I've discovered is when people realize that uh, you will follow up with them, uh, they will uh, deliver and, and become more accountable. Now, for team members that miss the accountability, uh, you know, one of the things that I'll do is that when I do follow up and if it's not ready, I'll uh, just remind them, I'll say, well, you know what, we've had two weeks, for example, to, to deliver on this. Why is it that you didn't let me know ahead of time? So now here we are at the deadline and, and you're telling me this now. Um, you know, so just make sure that uh, they understand that they committed uh, and that they need to deliver. Um, <clears throat> if it's a you know, first time occurrence kind of thing, I'll say, okay, I'll reset where, when can we expect it. If it happens consistently over and over again, then it becomes one of those performance management issues in terms of um, making sure that, you know, it, does a person have the skills to do it, uh, what, what's preventing them from doing it, and, uh, and, and sometimes they, it just might be one of those things where they're not very organized, so how can you help them, how can you get someone else from the team to help. The key, though, is, is follow-up. If you're not following up, people will let it slide, and it'll become one of those things that they work on off the side of their desk, and we all know what happens with that. Uh, so, th so that's it for this week. Keep sending me your questions. Love answering them in this forum or, or in the written blog. Take care. Talk to you soon.